1979, eight years after MSF was founded, Jacques Pinel described it as an organization without organization. Working as a pharmacist in refugee camps in Thailand, he had been appalled by the muddle of boxes of drugs stacked under tarpaulins and decided order was required. The first pre-prepared kits came into being, and along with a series of guidelines and lists of essential medicines, they became the cornerstone of logistics at MSF and the means to enhance operational effectiveness. These days, logistics are organized between MSF teams in the field, at head office and its purchasing centers. Literally thousands of logisticians work in the field maintaining the cold chain during vaccination campaigns, servicing vehicles, and setting up hospital tents. They are tasked with ensuring the smooth running of communications, particularly radio, vehicles from dugout canoes to four-wheel drives, power supply, water and sanitation, biomedical equipment for treating patients, supply and storage of medical and non-medical items used in the programs. Supervisors, based at MSF's head office, provide support to the logisticians, assessing needs according to the situation. Somewhere in the world, large numbers of refugees are converging. The emergency health kit contains everything required to provide 10,000 people with emergency assistance for three months. Warehoused in one of MSF's logistics centers, kits can be dispatched to the field within 24 hours. Essential medicines integrated into MSF's standardized guidelines also transit via these centers. Technicians specialized in, for example, water sanitation or vehicle maintenance make visits to the field projects to assist the teams. From the boxes of medicines piled up in a tent in 1979 to the setting up in 2015 of a water treatment plant to combat cholera in Congo or the installation of solar panels to provide an office running a malaria treatment program in Chad with an independent power supply, almost 40 years after that intervention in Thai refugee camps, MSF's logisticians continue to reinvent their craft.